a summer uh, like a heat wave apparently that's going to get to here before summer. Ah, some places could see triple digit temperatures as soon as tomorrow. CBS 2's Daniel Gersh took the mobile weather lab to Woodland Hills where people there know all about the extreme heat. Danielle. <laughs> That is exactly right, Pat. It is hot, hot, hot here. And it has been all day long. Not quite triple digits, but close. Take a look at current conditions. We have a little bit of a breeze, those winds gusting around seven miles per hour. And let me tell you, it is a very welcome thing because it is dry relative humidity right around 18%. And it is hot with the current temperature at 93 degrees and only going to get hotter from here. It's horrible. It's so hot. It's the worst. It was pretty hot, but it's really nice. For the valley, it's actually not too bad. You know, we're you know, triple digits will be here pretty soon. Ready or not, the first official heat wave of the season is about to scorch Southern California. In Woodland Hills, it will be the first time people have had to deal with triple digit heat since last fall. Maybe we'll, we're going to take a trip down to the beach probably in a couple days, so we'll get out of the valley if we can. Greg Temesvari and his 10 month old son Jack have the right idea. They came to the park early today to beat the heat and tell me they'll spend the rest of the day inside with the AC on. You know, I, I was thinking back, but uh, I, I want to say it's kind of, I think by now it's usually a little bit warmer. He's right. After weeks of May gray and June gloom, the summer like heat is arriving later than it usually does. It's been like up and down, like really cold nights and really hot days. And people like Corolla Aguirre very well know this is just the beginning of a hot summer ahead. It's the worst. You can't even like have hot coffee. Even though temperatures have been cooler than the last three years, we've seen a spike in brush fires. And although we aren't expecting strong winds with this heat wave, the warm weather, dry conditions, and ample fuel supply from our wet winter mean elevated fire danger on top of the dangers of extreme heat people are already preparing for. Sunblock, lots of sunblock and lots of water. <laughs> we run the air conditioner, you know, 24 7, try to stay indoors when we can. And until about 30 minutes ago, this park behind me was actually pretty empty. Now you can see kids out there playing. There are summer camps out there as well. Now, if you do have to be outside in the heat the next few days, you want to avoid strenuous activities, especially during the hottest part of the day, which is right around right now. Also drink a lot of water, or if you're lucky enough to have an ice cream truck nearby, maybe get yourself some ice cream. Back to you guys in the studio.